Well, hello there, everyone. It's Kevin back here with a brand new sourcing video. We're going to be heading into Ross, Marshalls, and Burlington today, seeing if they have anything good for us to resell. We're looking for Jordan 1 cleats, specifically those baseball shoes people have been finding at Marshalls. I came to this Marshalls last week every day because uh, I didn't have anything else to do. I really couldn't drive far because of my car, and even right now, my car is messed up. So not a lot of sourcing going to be going on this week. But we're going to make it work, you guys. So going to be heading into these stores and anybody that's new here my name is kevin i'm a full-time reseller and i make packaging sourcing as well as best flip of the month video so if you guys are interested in any of that type of content please go ahead and make sure to like as well as subscribe to the channel and yeah let's head into these stores and see what they get pretty interesting shoes here 20 bucks little kids junior hypervenom hypervenom felon huh. but yeah not much here just trash <sighs> nothing new really they got some trout Size eight, twenty dollars. Retail one fifty. Size eight. Pretty sure these are old. And then I got these Harachis. Here at Ross, what is this? This jersey, the one under Vaporknit. Thirty dollars. She. I don't know what team this is. Yeah, I have no idea. Shoes, they trash. These interesting looking Under Armour cleats. 27. Can give these a look up. Got some more interesting cleats. $40. Sheesh. Some more of these cleats here. Just gonna grab them. Why not? And then we got some more football cleats coming up. The Under Armours. And uh. Got these Predators 19.3. 20. Looks like they're the blur looks and they're the low football cleats to the comps. No comps on those. I mean, they just look cool. I guess that's just uh, that's just uh, what they're made for. No resale on them. Look up the orange colorway. They don't come up, but it uh, looks like the black one is listed pretty high. Take the comps. No, let's just look up the style code in it itself. I mean, they seem to be listed pretty high. Only like two listings though. Three comps, not even any of the cleats. So yeah, we're gonna leave them. And I was looking at these uh, Adidas soccer gloves or something. Forty dollars retail. Nothing comes up on M. Oh, there is a listing on Amazon, but no rank. So we're gonna leave. Them. So we got thirty percent off these polos. Pretty cool, but none of them appear on Amazon. So that's unfortunate. Wow, thirty-six dollars cosmetically flawed forces here at the move to zero. Pretty cool. Here in the women's section, got some Air Max ups for ninety. Some Nike Day Breaks here. D Breaks for 65 Pretty cool looking colorway. Got GS. $40 MX Fusion. Here they got these Space Hippies for retail. Pretty cool colorway. And then they got these mids here for retail price. Pretty bad sizes. Um, so I'm going to leave them. Got some Markdown KDs here for 70 Not bad. Some PGs that are appearing at Burlington and Marshalls. They don't really have much here in this Nike outlet. Just uh, some Air Max 2017s here. Pretty cool. Got the Nike Waffle Racer here, pretty cool. 70. Yeah, this Burlington, we got a restock, but um, the restock sucks, man. There's <laughs> nothing here, honestly. Um, unfortunately, that's just gonna be it. Yeah, this pretty cool looking FC, Bayern, whatever. $16, retail 90s, pretty cool. Comps on eBay are kinda iffy. Not iffy, they're like selling for like 50 bucks or something. Three comps, five listings, but gonna pass. Pretty cool looking Pumas here for 40. Ain't nothing much here. What are these? It's too huge. And they are not the elite, so. Size, size 13. Dang, this frost sucks. I'm out of here. Two days later. Alright guys, so here at the Armour store, we got this 1999 um, leggings. Clearance is 40% off, so this is what we have after tax and our calculated Amazon shipping, which I use as one dollar, making 11.52 on these. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think I got like uh, four right now. This is a continuation of the sourcing video. So at the outlets here, this was a pickup from Monday, so it wasn't really nothing. Um, that all of this is for Amazon, by the way, you guys. So all of these dress shirts were four dollars at a clearance store in like the Izod or the Van Heusen store or something like that. <sighs> so we got 30 shirts. Luckily I had three people with me. It was the limit of 10, 10 shirts per customer. And some of these shirts are selling from $29 all the way up to 40. So we're gonna be raking it a pretty good profit on those. These navy ones, like 
the new navy that's what they're called they're a little bit lighter than those right there those are like 100k rank in clothing and then the other ones are like 78k in clothing I came up on those i'm gonna go back this week and pick up 10 more i'm not gonna be able to bring another present with me unfortunately so we're gonna be raking in like around 15 to 20 dollars per shirt on these if they sell at the prices that i have them at and then at under armor we got these leggings here that we got on clearance um, these were like 12 bucks a piece. They're selling on Amazon for 30 to 35 dollars. The estimated profit on those was around uh, nine to 12 dollars. So that's pretty cool. And then we got these hoodies here that we picked up um, at Under Armour as well. They were 10.99. These are men's hoodies. We got a whole bunch of those. Uh, these the estimated profit on these is around like 10 to 15 dollars. And then here we got. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a pretty bad pickup from Nike. I'm just. I'm still gonna send them in though because why not it's whatever very very low margin i'm making like three to five dollars for each item and i spent like 18 dollars on the pants these i only spent like nine dollars on them but still bad pickups i don't know what i was thinking here's the vapor untouchables how they look got these at marshall's for 17.99 and uh the estimated profit on those is um 50 dollars which is a lot i don't know if they're gonna actually sell for the price that i set them at i set them at for like 105 or something like that we got six pair of those we got these converses here um all of these were 25 bucks these were 25 these were like I believe like 20 22 these were 22 two these these high top all of these are going into amazon these are estimated profit of 15 dollars all the way up to 25 or even 30. these are estimated profit of 25 to 30 dollars on each one um these are estimated profit of 15 to 20 or 25 as well on those along with these shoes right here we got some pride converses that sell really well for me on amazon some platform converses that look kind of weird um but it's a women's shoe, so here they are. This is one of the biggest Amazon, well, this is the biggest Amazon FBA shipment that I have going out. It's insane. Converse really came through for me this week. And um, yeah, you know, just grateful for all this. I've gotta get to folding the clothes. This was already folded for me. It's already in the poly bag with the label. So, you know, I don't gotta do nothing on those. And they were only $4. That's crazy. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. For this package, I mean, for this Amazon shipment, let me tell you my estimated profit. So, you guys, the estimated profit on this shipment is $3,102.73. And this shipment is from, like, four days of sourcing of the week that I did. So, that's pretty good. And I only spent $2,175 on the inventory, which is great. So, after, you know prices go a little bit down on amazon and stuff i think i can get like around 2500 um the minimum or the max for this for this shipment the max is what you guys saw right now like 3100 um the min is probably like 2k that's like the most it will ever go i'm pretty sure but yeah we had we um we really came up this week and i really go i really hope you guys enjoyed looking at that little mini wrap up i can go a little bit more in depth if you guys would like go ahead and comment down below if you want me to go more in depth and you know scan the item show you but as of now i'm just you know just giving you some numbers and thing but yeah that's gonna conclude this video you guys i really hope you do i really hope you enjoyed it. it was a crazy sourcing week this week got me all tired driving and then i'm gonna be having to fold a whole lot of clothes but it's just a part of the biz and the job full time now so gotta get to work appreciate you watching to the very end hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next sourcing, packaging, or whatever video.